Good morning, guys. What is up? What's going on? Welcome back. I think this is gonna be another vlog. This could be an insert in the part of a vlog. I'm not quite sure. I'm actually having surgery today and I'm not gonna input this portion into my explant video because that just wouldn't make any sense to do that in another video, especially when it's so niche down. So I think I'm gonna be vlogging, uh, I think. I'm gonna like try to do two videos side by side it's been a little bit though since i've done that uh, i do think that that video is probably going to go live before this one does if it doesn't i probably have talked about this in previous videos but if i have not i am getting my boobs redone and i'm essentially having to go through two surgeries just to narrow it down i'm getting my breast implants removed and then three weeks later i'm getting them put back in the typical time frame in case you guys don't know to get them put back in is about four to six weeks but i cannot go more than three weeks without having my boobies in <laughs> i don't think i am going to get ready normally for surgery days you're like really not supposed to put makeup on or anything Thing, but I am the last case of the day and because I am filming at work before that and I do have to work before that I'm gonna put makeup on and get ready and I wash my hair because I don't know really how I'm gonna feel after getting my implants removed um, because that's obviously what I'm getting done today procedure super easy again if you see that video I'm sorry this is gonna be a lot of reiteration of it but it's about 15 to 20 minutes of me actually being under anesthesia I'm assuming uh, I got some packages in 21 days of beauty from Ulta is running right now I love it and I hate it I love it because you're going to get 50 percent off of pretty much um, great amazing products but it's very specific to the products obviously unlike the sephora sale which is 20 percent off of every line except for sephora collection which is normally 30 percent off and that is coming april 1st i'm very excited about that but the one thing with ulta is that it's very dead it's like every single day for 21 days they have certain products on sale so i did pick up a couple of things from the sale um, i picked up the tarte ultra creamy concealer Oh my God, guys, I love that concealer. I don't know what took me so long to get on the Tarte Shape Tape bandwagon. I didn't really like the original Tarte Shape Tape because it was very, very, very dry for my under eyes, but the creamy one is so good. It right now is like hand in hand with my Hourglass Vanish Concealer, which if you know, you know, that's like one of my favorite concealers. I love that one so much. On the day of the sale where they had the Urban Decay Blow Brow Blade, I decided to pick up another one of these guys. Um, I prefer the pencil from Better. Benefit, the benefit precisely my brow for the actual pencil side but this ink side is fan fucking tastic so i always pick up a back above it during sales i should have gotten two but i only got one because i was like i had just bought a brand new tv which is actually coming in tomorrow so i'll show you guys a brand new tv tomorrow normally nick and i split most of the purchases but actually i purchased the tv because every other tv in the household he has previously purchased and this one was like he didn't want to buy he really loves the tv but it was a lot of money and i was like you know what i've say i've done a really good job of saving all my money i don't splurge that often on things so i was like you know what i'm just gonna drop the money i'm gonna buy the fucking tv we've been talking about getting a brand new tv for fucking years like we wanted an 85 inch but we actually ended up getting a 77 inch because an 85 five inch TV was uh, $6,500. <laughs> and I'm not spending $6,500 on a fucking TV. <laughs> so I did spend a lot of money. It was a few thousand dollars, but it is something that I did invest in. But anyway, I digress on that as well. I didn't pick up two because I had already just dropped a lot of money on a fucking TV, even though I should have just spent the extra 15 bucks to get a secondary one. But I picked this one up. I always get mine in the shade Ginger Snap. And then Makeup Forever actually is running a 30% off sale on their website, like the direct makeup forever website and i wasn't gonna pick up this foundation because i just did a huge declutter of foundations a little while ago i filmed it i lost the footage i'm sorry guys i threw away like 50 percent of my foundations before we moved but everybody has been raving about the brand new makeup forever ultra or hd foundation HD Skin Foundation. I guess it's a reformulated version of the Ultra HD Foundation. And I picked up the full size version. I got mine in the shade 2Y20, which is previously Y305. I used the Ultra HD years. Ooh, she dark. I don't know if I could wear this today. I'm like on bare bones with my tanner. Oh, it's a pump, bitch. I'm gonna try this out today. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting at. So let's go over to my beauty space. Okay, I actually did a decent shade match. It looks a little bit, because it's beigey, it's a little bit like of a peachy undertone for me. So I, I oh, it's gonna be a little dark. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Oh, and I can't really put self tanner on today either just because of my surgery. Wow, this feels really lightweight on the skin wow like in like in person and i don't know i don't have a filter on this it looks really good all right let me go finish the rest of my very quick makeup and i will be right back okay i mean i am almost done my makeup and 
I really like it so far. I mean, I put a little bit too much concealer on because the foundation is so dark enough to match it to my very pale body right now that I put on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer in the shade three. And for some reason, I also have the shade six, but this formula seems very thick compared to the number six. It's very weird. I don't know if in different countries it's reformulated because I did buy the number six from Beauty Bay, which is a European brand and comes from Europe. Whereas the Anastasia Bobby Hills I bought from, I think Sephora or Ulta here in the States. So that is a little bit thick under my under eyes and I went in with like a little bit too much. So it is kind of like caking up right here, but that's not the foundation's fault. Everything laid beautifully on top though, besides my concealer and that's my concealer's fault, not the foundation. Yeah, so far I really like, like really like this foundation. I do just wish I had gone like a click lighter, um, at least just for today, but yeah, so far, so far I really like it. Good morning guys, welcome back. It is now the next day. Um, how the fuck do I work these? I'm trying, we, oh, oh. Um, it's now Friday, the day after my surgery and I feel great. <laughs> Uh, literally, it's so strange. I feel 100% okay. Um, you could actually go watch my explant vlog because I'm gonna go into a little bit more depth over everything there. But I figured since I do feel so good, I will continue to vlog because I'm gonna keep everything like personal out of the explant stuff, um, explant video, and just vlog this. Um, I am about to go get ready for work. I am going to work today, less than 24 hours after having surgery because I feel totally fine. Like I'm really not in pain. I haven't needed to take pain medication. I took a little bit of Tylenol last night, but that's about it. I don't have boobies at all. <laughs> um, it's a little strange, and but I am back home from work. <sighs> I was feeling real good up until about, oh, I don't know, maybe like three hours ago. And then I started getting really uncomfortable. <laughs> Not to be like such a dummy downer, but I shall tell you guys how I feel. I made it through. We only worked until three today because it's a Friday. I did end up taking more Tylenol, but yeah, I just got home and I'm very excited to just like relax. But I got home and our brand new TV is here. I am assuming that at this point you guys already know that we bought a new TV or not we, <laughs> I, I bought a new TV for us. So we went to Best Buy and I've been, we've actually gone like three different times and every single time this is the one that caught our eye. So we bought the Sony Bravia XR A80J. They do have an A90J, but that was a little bit more expensive. So I think this is probably like the 2021 version compared to the 2022, but it's fine. And this is the 77 inch. So this thing is massive compared to our last TV. The TV that we did have here was 50 65 inches because it came from our previous house. We had a 65 inch in our previous house in our living room, but we actually ended up giving it to one of our friends who helped us move because we knew that we were going to upgrade at some point. And what's awesome about it is that it is a smart TV, um, like the upgraded smart TV, which most TVs nowadays are considered some type of smart TV, but this one actually has like an Apple TV built into it, which we have Apple TVs all throughout the house. We are an Apple family. Nick likes to pretend that he's an Android guy, but we are actually an Apple family <laughs> through and through. And um, we it's just nice not to have to connect it to a box but at some point today we're gonna go look at some tv stands because we were gonna mount it on that wall but guys i spent a lot of money on that tv and it was like i'll be honest i'll be transparent i think it's really important to be transparent on sites over how much money you spend and keep in mind i've been saving up for this tv i can well afford it it is something that i'm like able to do but i don't like to like brag about big purchases but i i rarely ever make big purchases ever 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 like the last thing that i can remember purchasing that, that was this large was like my car um but my car I still think I only put like $1,000 down and then obviously monthly payments, but this guy was $3,000 and I don't regret it by any means. I actually, it was like, it was a very well loved purchase because I watch a lot of TV and um, the, what's great about it is a lot of other TVs, not only is the picture like prime, it's fucking fantastic, but the sound, you don't need a sound bar to come out front. So in most TVs, the sound actually comes out from behind the TV, hits the wall and then bounces kind of around. But what's great about this TV is that the sound actually comes from the inside of it and pushes out through the screen. I don't know the magic behind it, but yeah, it's supposed to have a really amazing sound. The picture was fucking fantastic compared to the LG, compared to Samsung. And um, this just goes to show how much I don't know about TVs. But again, we are going to mount it on that wall, but 
I just get nervous over a $3,000 TV getting mounted by anybody other than somebody who works at Best Buy because if Best Buy does it, they're entirely held liable if the TV breaks, but it's like $300 to get them to mount it. So rather than having that happen one time, we're probably just gonna go out and buy like a $300 stand for the TV. And then when we do buy a house, any year from now when we move back to Siena, we will then obviously mount the TV and have like Best Buy do it for us. But yeah, I am very excited that that has come. I'm gonna sit down for a little bit. We still have, still have a lot of unpacking to do. Obviously, like a lot of those boxes are empty. I use it for an Instagram pic, but we still have all of this stuff that's sitting out. And then we have to wrap up the house this weekend because the house were officially like our lease is ending as of thir next Thursday, which is March 30th, first, I think it is. So tomorrow we're going to be pretty much over there all day cleaning. At least I'll be cleaning. Nick will be getting a lot of the stuff moved because I still, I'm restricted to lifting anything heavy. I can't lift anything more than 20 pounds with my arms. Uh, and if you guys don't know, you're really also not supposed to, when you get an X plate, you're not really supposed to be like working out and all that kind of stuff, but I will be doing leg day. I'm gonna give myself until like Monday or Tuesday, but I'm gonna do like machines and, and like lower body with the help of Nick because once I get my implants put back in and all the tacking, it has to be a solid four weeks of absolutely no workouts. But yeah, so tonight's gonna to be, if I if we go buy a TV stand today, I'll obviously take you guys along with me. If not, then we'll just kind of be chilling. And then tomorrow is gonna to be a lot of cleaning, but I do need to get like my makeup situation organized. I think I need to film, there's a Sephora VIB sale coming up next Friday. So I need to film a video because I did actually have a collaboration, kind of a collaboration come through. And I want to get you guys' thoughts on this. So I know I'm a very small content creator and I should be taking every single opportunity that, that comes about, but I had a company reach out to me that's like a cash back company and they wanted me to, they said, hey, like send us your rates and us all this kind of stuff. We'd love to collab with you for upcoming videos. So I sent them my rates for things that I have gotten paid in the past for. And I'm really always open to doing like freebies if I get something out of it, obviously, right? But I'm not really getting anything out of this collaboration. And they did, said that essentially my, my demographic's too small for them to pay, which totally fine. Like I only have 5,000 subscribers or something, something really small like that. But I also don't believe in, because I have had brands pay me before, I don't believe in giving work for free, but I'm okay with doing it. I normally just don't do cash back sites. So it's not something I don't really believe in. I don't really see the point in doing it, but if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it for this video because I do need to get a um, Sephora VIB recommendations video out because I, I have not missed one yet on my channel. And I don't know if I wanna do a recommendations video or if I wanna do a what I'm gonna buy in the sale video. By the time this video goes up, you guys will have known what I've decided to do. So I will link that if that's the case, but yeah. All right, I need to eat something. I need to relax a little bit. So I'll see you guys when I see ya. Back out here. Sorry. It's gonna be fucking town center, stuff to do. Oh. Get out of here. Take your red berry garbage. It's pretty good. I know. Everything I think is amazing. The sooner you learn that, the better off you'll be. So much shit to still get. One day. Complete side note though, uh, never had the ghost energy drinks. Actually, pretty good. Uh, this is the red berry, and the red berry is very delicious. In case you're wondering. Mm. Nick got the citrus. It's like, okay, it's not really that great. We have a lot of shit to get though. Oh. You guys, I am pooped. I am so tired. I was trying to talk to you guys, I always have a mint in my mouth, but I am like beyond exhausted to the point where I even have like chills. That's how tired I am. It's only 2.30. We got, just got back to the house. We were over there for like two hours cleaning. Um, I'm pretty much done cleaning the house. Um, but I was, do I think I, I, not I think, I did way too much. 
I was literally like on my hands and knees, like scrubbing floorboards and stuff, which I probably shouldn't have been doing. Um, my incisions hurt really bad, but it had to get done. I tried my best not to put like weight on my hands when I was doing it, but I'm just really tired now. So we were there for almost three years. So like the house looks great for being lived in consistently for three years. And we cleaned like the floorboards and everything. It looks, it looks still brand new. There's little scuffs here and there, but I mean, that's normal wear and tear. So Nick's still bringing stuff in from the trucks. We had a lot of shit just left over. So this is what we're working with when it comes to my clothes. I need to get everything hung up still. These are the dirties that need to get cleaned, but I have towels in right now. I need to get a lot of the shit just taken care of this weekend because I literally just, I, I can't, I can't do it anymore. I'm gonna strip the bed and just start putting clothes on it and folding it. I just want everything to be done by this weekend and next weekend because I just need to feel moved in. <laughs> morning guys what is up uh, i think i already started this vlog so i'm not really gonna start it if i haven't good morning hope you're having a great day i hope you enjoy this beautiful ray of sunshine that i am today it is friday april 1st finishing up my sephora vib sale video because it needs to get posted today i normally don't post videos on fridays well i haven't really been consistent but, but when i'm still filming i really haven't been consistent posting period so any upload is great but i filmed and edited it yesterday and i love how easy it is to film to edit sit down videos editing a vlog is much more difficult because you have to like find sounds and all that kind of stuff and crazy transitions and uh, sit down videos are so much easier because you're just getting rid of all the ums the butts the, the blank noises and i say a lot of ums ums or i repeat myself a lot or i'll stumble over my words because i talk a million miles per hour this one was pretty easy to get up but i do also have to tag everything at 7 32 in the morning i have to get ready i have jumped in the shower literally in like 10 minutes but um, i want it to post while i'm in the middle of work today our lease ended at our house yesterday but our landlord is doing the work a walkthrough today with us at six and i work until three we're doing a lot of filming in the office today which i'll get to in a minute but I did not sleep at all last night. I was gonna go to the gym yesterday, but I like, I really don't wanna go back to the gym being only a week post-op and not have Nick there. Cause I can do machines, machines are super easy, but just in case something happens, I wanna have Nick there. So that way I can be like, yo, this just isn't working. Please take the weight off of me or something, right? I can't really do anything more like with lifting my arms, but I only have two weeks to really work out. And please, again, don't, don't do as I do, do as I say, um, and follow your doctor's instructions. I only explanted this time around, so I can't really like um, speak on what a lot of doctors would do, but I'm going to go back to the gym because I only have two weeks before I get my surgery done. And for that, I can't work out for four weeks after, which I've mentioned in numerous videos, probably even this one. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. And when I do get cleared after that to go work back out, to, back to working out, it won't be heavy lifting probably for another four weeks. I was gonna go yesterday. Nick couldn't go to the gym with me because he actually ended up going back to the house and ended up taking off of work because the house just had a lot of cleaning left to do. And then today I was gonna go, but Lucy and Kona slept in the bed with us and it was just like a terrible night. I don't know if like he just couldn't sleep or what she was up to, but she has this tendency to lay like a human in bed and it's my own fault i trained her to do that inadvertently she sleeps with her head on my pillow with her body under the blanket but when she wakes up she wakes up like with a vengeance and she'll just like stare at you <laughs> it's like very unnerving to wake up to so i'll wake up at like two o'clock in the morning and her little eyeballs are staring at me and she'll just start licking me it's like i love you but it's two o'clock in the morning let me go to sleep so i just kept like nick was tossing and turning i was tossing and turning i didn't get like any sleep so i didn't go to the gym today so i've been feeling like shit because obviously i haven't worked out in over a week i don't have boobs and now i'm tired <laughs> Plus this wrap, I've had this wrap on every day for over a week and you're supposed to wear it for every day for two weeks. My skin's retracted up really well. And I'm very, 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 so incredibly happy that I explanted. I don't know how I survived with 400 CC implants for as long as I did. They were beautiful. I look at my before pictures, like my before taking them out pictures and they looked really good. And I'll, if I can get the pictures, I'll post them up here somewhere or in one of the videos I'll post them. Like they look really good on. It's just when I wore things, they were just like really heavy. I was starting to bottom out on one side. It was very minimal. It wasn't like an urgent rush to go like fix the bottom. And I probably could have gotten away with it for another five years. I just love how I look without implants 
but I want to have my implants back in. I just won't go as large. I need to get this up. I've been rambling. I love every part about editing, like doing videos. They're just so tedious to do. Like editing sucks. It really does. Nobody loves editing. I find putting together a thumbnail to be way more difficult than the actual editing because freaking 90% of the time, people who are watching your videos are literally just clicking the next button like this to fast forward it because they just want to get to the good parts because our brains are so trained to only watch things in like seven second increments. And that's why like TikTok is so popular or Insta Instagram reels are so popular. And that's why like kids um, shows nowadays, like if you compare kids shows to like when we were growing up with like Rugrats and I don't know, like cartoons back then, a standard scene was about 10 seconds long. Nowadays for one scene for like a baby show, it's like a baby show, a kid show, it's no more than like two to three seconds. Every two to three seconds, it's shifting to a new scene, a new scene. So they're like, unfortunately our media is retraining kids brains to essentially like have ADD <laughs> like they can't focus on things longer than two to three seconds so the reason I say that is because a lot of people nowadays don't like to watch something for more than two to three seconds they want the information really quickly and just to move on and be able to get the gist of it it sucks because there's a lot of really good juicy meat in the video but I understand I get it I'm, I'm the same way I fast forward too so editing's not like the hardest part because people aren't gonna pay attention to 90% of what you say. The thumbnail though, if you don't have a good thumbnail, people aren't gonna click on it. And it's not even just for like my subscribers because I have pretty good subscribers. I have 4,600, a little over 4,600 subscribers, which is pretty low. Like, let's be honest, there's people out there with millions of subscribers, but I love all of my subscribers. They're amazing, they're great. But you don't just want your subscribers to watch your video. You want your video to get posted out there for a lot of other people to view so you get more subscribers and more view counts. And plus I just, I don't know, I just like sharing this information so that more people that I can educate and talk to you about it. Like, how fun is that? I know it's really annoying for you guys, for influencers and influencers, for influencers and like YouTubers to be like, please use my links down below. You guys don't get charged an extra surcharge for it whatsoever. It's just a way for us to make a very, very, very small commission. Like if somebody buys the Makeup Forever um, foundation that retails for like 30 bucks, I may make like $2 on that. It doesn't cost you any more money, but I just get a small commission off of it and it does matter, right? Like you get an extra hundred bucks a month, that's going towards towards gas <laughs> that is going towards like my lunch right it's going towards me putting more money into my 401k technically I really don't use it towards those things I really use it to put back into my channel so when you are really small um, and growing it's most beneficial for you to take the money that you're earning through socials and put it back into your socials so I don't know how I even got on that tangent so I'll see you guys once I put myself together